Okay, let's continue to practice more of the basic fundamentals or building blocks in our drawings. And one of the most important fundamentals is line, learning to draw with nice controlled lines. In the end, your drawings are only as good as the lines you put in them. Leonardo da Vinci is noted for having the most beautiful lines in his drawings in the history of art. Let's draw Wally the Worm again, using nice controlled lines. However, this time we're going to have him going from left to right. Take out your red colored pencil and just beneath Charlie Contrast as an astronaut, we're going to draw him right about here. First, let's draw, hold your pencil like this, your red pencil, let's draw another long straight horizontal line like that for the bottom of his belly. And this time we're drawing the reverse image. He's going to be going this way. So his tail is curved and thin and gets, his body becomes wider and wider as it comes up like this and his head is round like that. Reverse image or the opposite image takes a little bit of thinking. Let's give him a smiley face and two eyes. Let's give him a hat. A little fat hot dog shape on his head for the rim of his hat. Again, you guys should be experts at this by now. Little hill on top of the hot dog. Band going around his hat, since his hat is round, the band is curved, going around like that. And let's take vertical lines and color inside the band. Finally, let's draw, let's draw curved stripes going around his body. And since his body is round, the stripes are curved, going around like that practicing basic fundamentals, building blocks and drawing. Okay, for the fun of it, we're going to draw Wally the Worm going through a puddle. So let's draw his reflection, a mirror image, so his head comes around like this, his body's here, and notice his body will get thinner and thinner as so it comes back to his tail like this for his reflection. Now, in the reflection, again, everything is opposite. So if his smile is going up like this, it goes down like this because it's opposite. His two eyes here like that. The, stripe, the curved stripes go this way. See how I did that? Like that, that, that. Kind of realistic, you know? Okay, let's give him a hat. And again, if it curves up like this, then in his reflection, it has to curve down like so. Let's put a hill on the bottom, not the top. And if it curves up like this, it's going to curve down like that. Little thinking goes into drawing. That's his reflection. And if you want to put a little ripple effect in his reflection to puddle, you can just draw a couple little curved S shapes like that, just to show a little bit of a wiggly reflection. All right, next take out your blue colored pencil. You might want to go with your darker blue pencil if you have one. And let's draw our puddle. And a puddle can be almost like a large ellipse, but it goes in and out like that, going around Wally the Worm. And we'll put a couple little things like that for to show a nice water effect too. Wally the Worm, his reflection going from right to left.